Marinero, the sick podcast brought to you by Cherry River, hard seltzer, only 90 calories, natural flavors, no preservatives. Now available in Quebec grocery stores and at the beer store. You're going to want to take a sip of this before you take a look at the Montreal Canadiens lineup going into their game versus the Tampa Bay Lightning when at the time of this recording, this game has not been postponed yet. Should it happen? Well, I'll tell you the lineup first. First and foremost, actually, why don't I tell you who's out of the lineup? For the Montreal Canadiens, of course, Carey Price hasn't played a game the entire season. He's out. Add Jake Allen's name to the COVID protocol. The same thing for Joel Edmondson. The same thing for Jeff Petrie. The same thing for Ben Sherratt. The same thing for Weidman. Hoffman, we know, was already on the list. Toffoli, Anderson, Dvorak, and Byron Renault were already injured to begin with this is a rather depleted rather decimated montreal canadian side earlier today at practice suzuki had gallagher on his right wing and drew on his left wing no shame in that line but then listen to this pazetta vedamo and paquette evans yelonen and belzil paling caulfield and harvey pinard on defense, Romanov, Savard, Kulak, and Klag, Schooneman, and Niku. And in goal, well, your goalies, Montambo, Primo, because of course, Price and Allen are out. This looks more like an American Hockey League team than it does a National Hockey League team. How many players at practice today make more than a million dollars? Gallagher, Drouin, um, Evans, Savard. I mean, is, is that it? It's unbelievable. The Tampa Bay Lightning, and we'll get to them in a second. Let's keep in mind, of course, the three games the Canadians had during right before Christmas, the games in uh, New York versus the Islanders, in New York versus the Rangers, and in Jersey versus the Devils. Those three games were postponed. This week, the Canadians are set to play the Lightning in Tampa on Tuesday night and the Hurricanes in Carolina on Thursday night. The Lightning, they don't have a number one goalie or number two goalie either. And at the forward position, Stamkos, Radish, Palat, Braden Point, Joseph, and Kalorn, Colton, Perry, and Maroon, Nash, Fortier, and Kuchuk. Along with Hedman, Ruda, McDonough, and Bogosian, and Radish and Foot, should be noted that Sorelli and Suster were added to the Lightning's COVID protocol list earlier today. So it's um, two decimated teams, to say the least. Very, very decimated teams. Now, if one of these teams is your favorite team or any other team in the National Hockey League, any other team or any team in the NFL, if that's your sport, with the playoffs around the corner there, just a couple of weeks away, sportbuffshop.com for all of their uh, officially licensed sports apparel and even our sick merchandise. I'm wearing, a, is this a joke? I like this one. Use code 615 for 15% off on all of their items. So a couple of weeks ago, I thought that, you know, the National Hockey League was better off taking a two-week break at the very minimum, shutting everything down to try and have everyone come back. But during the break, players tested positive for COVID that they were picking up at home, hanging out with their families, because, of course, their families are not in a bubble. We know that the bubble worked last year, but the players don't want to go into a bubble. The teams don't want to go into a bubble. But, of course, having players test positive, even if they don't have any symptoms, and continuing to play doesn't make sense either because the players are still contagious. The National Hockey League clearly wants to wait until the very last minute here to decide whether or not they should postpone games. Knowing they have a three-week window between February 6th and the 22nd, they still want to do that because those three weeks can get used up just like that, that easily. They don't want to add games at the end of the regular season in mid-April or end of April because their season has been delayed over the last couple of years and it's always started later and it's always ended later. So they're trying to get back on track. 
I have never seen a Canadians team on paper quite like this one. Clearly, injuries and COVID have got the better of the Montreal Canadiens. But if there's a time when you wanted to see a depleted lineup, I would say it's a time when the Canadians are the second worst team, statistically speaking, anyway, in hockey. The 2022 NHL Amateur Draft, I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again, that's the Canadian Stanley Cup Final this year. In 2021, they went to the Stanley Cup Final, and it was a big party. In 2022, they're not going to go to the playoffs. Their Stanley Cup Final is going to be the NHL Amateur Draft that they're set to host if all goes well. Usually, the numbers get a lot better in the summer, and I would expect them to host the draft. That's going to be their Stanley Cup. So when anyone is, when everyone at a time, when everyone is asking themselves whether or not this game should happen between the Canadians and the Lightning, because it's very two very decimated and depleted teams, I take a look at the roster and the Tampa Bay Lightning on paper are icing a much better team, even with their injuries, than the Montreal Canadiens. So with that being said, I say, just play at this point. Knowing that COVID is a reality and it's not going away, not anytime soon here, play these games. It's a reality for everyone. Every club is decimated. No club is being spared. Have them call up their players from the American Hockey League. As long as teams have enough players to dress on any given night, then I think the game should be played. Obviously, if they can't dress enough players because there's games being played between themselves and their American Hockey League affiliate at the same time or, and they can't bring up guys from the East Coast or whatever it is, at that point, you don't want to risk injury to players anymore. And I would say postpone the game. But other than that, you know what? It's got to be the same thing for everyone. Everyone's depleted. Everyone's decimated. Everyone's playing with the same rules. So just go out and play the games. And, you know, if you're taking a look at the World Juniors, all eyes are on Shane Wright, who is the projected number one pick in the 2022 NHL Amateur Draft. And we'll see more from him as the tournament goes on. But, you know, if the Canadians can win the lottery at that point, it's going to be all right. So keep that in mind. He's not the only one, by the way. Cooley, uh, very good forward with Team USA. There's a couple of good defensemen that play for the Swedes. There's a lot of good prospects. Um, you know, there's a Slovakian player. There's, there's, a, there's a couple of very good players at this draft, and once again, the Canadians Cup is going to be the draft. The only thing I say to them, and I've said this before, draft the best player available at the draft. Don't go out and draft the player by need because you absolutely need a centerman and you end up with the fourth pick, and then you end up drafting a centerman when maybe the better pick was the winger. At that point, draft the winger. If you have the number one pick, and the projected number one pick is Shane Wright. Draft Shane Wright. If you don't have the number one pick and you draft fourth once again, uh, don't draft a centerman if that player is not projected to go, you know, is not the best player available at the time. And that's it. So it's a tough time right now in hockey. Um, no pain, no gain, they say. Speaking of no pain, no gain, Matrix Home Fitness. While the players were off during the holiday season, a lot of them brought their gym to their home. Discover a club quality workout in the comfort of your own home. Visit matrixhomefitness.ca. I picked up their treadmill myself, the Matrix T75 treadmill for all your cardio and strength equipment. Check out matrixhomefitness.ca and uh, you'll be able through social media, by the way, to follow my journey. You can follow them on social media as well and follow my journey as well. We're going to lose some of that weight that we put on during the holiday season. The players are going to keep fit because they were off during the holiday season. And once again, I say play the games at this point. You can't postpone the games much longer. Maybe you do it for a couple of days. And then what if it doesn't go away? Just play the games. As long as you have enough players to play, just play them. For now, the game is still on between the Canadians and the lightning on Tuesday night in Tampa. Take a look at the, uh, the lineups, big difference from what we saw in the Stanley Cup final, huh? But once again, it's going to be all right.
Keep the faith. I'm Marinero, the Sick Podcast.